little cuties. My name is Cassandra and today I'm going to be taking you along for my morning shower routine. I'm going to be using only affordable products so I feel like it's going to be a really realistic shower routine that you guys can do yourself at home. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. like to do is splash my face with some cold water. I struggle to wake up in the morning so I find that this really wakes me up. Next I like to brush my teeth because my boyfriend brings me a cup of coffee every morning to bed. I know I'm like a little queen <laughs> but I really don't want to let it stain my teeth so I brush my teeth using the Colgate Max Fresh with whitening breath strips. I always stick to toothpaste that have blue packaging because I find them to be not as harsh as the ones with red packaging. When I use the toothpaste that looks red it's very harsh and it causes all my cheek and my tongue to kind of peel. I don't know if that sounds really gross but I've actually met a couple people that this happens to so I I stick to any toothpaste that has got blue packaging. probably about once a week. I have noticed that my skin has been quite dry because of the change of season. So I'll go in with a hydrating mask and just apply it to the regions of my face that are very dry, specifically around my nose and on the sides of my cheeks. Then it's officially time for me to hop into the shower. I've been trying to use water that isn't too hot. I usually love a hot shower, but it feels good in the moment, but it lands up actually drying out my skin. Last night, I soaked my hair with some jojoba oil, which is why my hair looks kind of greasy. So in order to get the excess oil off of my scalp, I'm gonna be using my boyfriend's Head & Shoulders shampoo. This one smells like Old Spice, so it is quite a masculine smell, but I do quite like it. And because I have psoriasis on occasion, the shampoo is really great for just getting rid of any flavor that are lying around. Of course, the most important part of a shower routine is the shower dance. <laughs> Just a warning, try not to slip on the slippery floor. Next, I'll go in with my Garnier Whole Blends Conditioner. I really love this product because it's affordable but deeply hydrating for the hair without causing it to be really heavy. A lot of conditioners hydrate the hair, but then I kind of lose my natural curls. With this one, it hydrates it but still supports it being curly. I have this wet brush that I use in order to brush the conditioner through. I know it's not good to brush your hair when it's wet, but this one is really gentle and the bristles kind of bend as you brush it. Brushing the conditioner through my hair definitely helps for the conditioner to coat every single strand and that way I'm gonna get way better results from the product. I have been using the Dove body wash for years now. I love it so much. It's so gentle on the skin. <laughs> I have this anti-stress one and it smells so good. It genuinely de-stresses you just because of the smell. So if you are a stressed out person, you should try this one out. I'm telling you, you're gonna feel totally relaxed and rejuvenated like a new person. I've seen on TikTok that everyone likes to use the gloves to rub their body, but I find it too abrasive. So I prefer to stick to this poof or whatever you call it. I have not shaved my legs in weeks, so it's about time that I do this. I'm all for growing out your hair if you want to do that, but for me, it just irritates my skin. I use the Skin Skintimates Vanilla Sugar Shaving Cream. I love the smell of this, but you do have to use quite a lot in order to lather it up. Normally, I would go for the men's shaving gels. I find they work the best, but this time I just felt like smelling good, so that's why I chose this one. wanting to do at home laser for a while now so I'm thinking of getting myself one of those IPL ones but in the meantime we're gonna be sticking with the shaving <music> 
Most people wash their faces first, but I like to leave it as my last step because then the pores of my face open up and I'll get the maximum benefit from my face wash. So I use about two pumps, rub it all over my face and don't forget to do your decolletage, so your neck and chest area. These are the most sensitive parts of your skin. So you wanna use something that's gentle and always rub upwards. We don't wanna get wrinkles. So I always rub in upwards motion. Lastly, I will always rinse off with a little bit of cold water, specifically when I'm washing my hair. They say that it closes the pores of your hair and locks the hydration in. Whereas if you use hot water on your hair, it's just gonna dry your hair out. Rinsing my hair with cold water is definitely a trick that has helped me to grow my hair longer. This is the roll-on I've been using. It's by Degree Advanced and it smells like coconut and hibiscus. It smells so good. And because I'm actually quite a sweaty person, you, I can say that this one works really, really well. Then I head on over to my dresser and it's time for me to apply some lotion onto my legs. After shaving, my skin is always really sensitive. So I've been using this one by Cake in Deserted Island and it smells so good despite it literally looking like a dog poop. I don't know why they had to make it this horrible color, but ugh, it looks nasty. But what I like about it is that it's deeply hydrating while still being a thin cream. I don't like these thick creams that make you sweat. So if you want to smell like Tahitian vanilla, then get this one. to dry naturally I always part it with a comb so that I have a neat middle parting that way my hair is just gonna dry in the direction that I want it to this is the oil that I like to apply in the morning it smells like lavender I never used to like lavender but now I love this smell I find it so relaxing and it's quite an oily oil which I appreciate because of my dry skin I know I look shiny now but in a couple minutes it will literally soak into my skin and you won't even see it Next up, I brush my eyebrows because whenever I shower, my eyebrow hairs hang downwards. So I make sure that I brush them up so that they can dry in the direction that I want them to. On mornings where I have the time, I will just take my quartz roller and rub it along my face. It just feels really good in the morning to wake you up. I specifically love rubbing my neck with this because I always have these little muscle aches at the back of my neck. And this just helps to relieve any tension that's sitting in my neck. The CeraVe moisturizing cream is my go-to. You get so much cream for such an affordable price and it is honestly the best at hydrating your skin. I swear this is the holy grail of moisturizing creams and if I had to choose one product, this would be it. I always use the Kerastase hair elixir. Oh my gosh, if you are looking for a good hair oil, this is the only one that I like. It's the only hair oil that I've ever tried that doesn't make my hair oily, but still keeps it hydrated. I just take two pumps of the stuff, scrunch it through my hair, and voila, there we have it. And lastly, I'll end off with a little bit of Burt's Bees Vanilla Balm just to keep my lips hydrated throughout the day. And there we have it. My morning shower routine is complete and I'm ready to face the day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys like this kind of video and I will see you guys next time.